Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. We welcome you back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 Philippines campaign. Now, if you remember our last episode, we managed to score quite a good victory against Tondo and its overlord, Ming. Mostly through sheer luck <laughs> and a little bit of timing. Uh, through a little bit of uh, Benny Hill-esque boat management. So, we managed to take Mindao, I'm sorry, Mindoro and Laguna here from Tondo. And we even actually managed to core them and I think... Yeah, we even... We've even lowered them a little bit, so there's no, the autonomy is a bit high, but just to, to keep them from getting all pissy. Now, as you can see here, we may, that actually has upped our development by another 13, which brings us to... Let's do it quick. Ah, I keep forgetting the button where that shows where we are. That's prestige. 60. Brings us to 60 total development, which, uh, that's not bad when you consider that originally we, we grew from 21, so we just shy under tripled it in just 20 years in game. Now, uh, our buddy buddies of, uh, <laughs> Brew and I have actually managed to get us into a war with Makassar. Which is fine, because if we look at the tail of the tape, they've only got a grand total of 15 to our 22, and we definitely smoke them on the boats. So, let's get that going. Uh, hopefully we can grab a little bit of land from helping out uh, Brunei here. Uh, maybe take over Ternate. A little bit. We'll see. In the meantime, in the meanest of times, we are also in the beginning of our ideas for expansion. We, uh, if all goes well, we should be starting to colonize in, looks like, three years. Let's see. We still don't quite make enough that I can really justify putting in an advisor, though. It, I mean, well, you know what? Let's try that. Uh, missionary strength or tax modifier. What's missionary strength here? Okay, so right, there's religious zeal, so that won't mean nothing. So let's do the ta Oop, not that one. Let's do the tax modifier guy. That'll bump us up. Let's see, to use our wonderful Arumba esque skills, that's another 12 a year. So, well, it should show us. It should bump it to October of 1466. And I think, yeah, that still puts us at half a ducat. So that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to Laguna. We're going to go pick up our general, our general specific here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Those are us. Let's, see. Let's go take on some boats. So we're going to pull the, the trade traffic out a little bit and actually use it as a offensive weapon here. So we'll stick those all on Mafasar. Okay, now as we can see here, we can't really do much to Ternate, but we can at least dump it on, say, the door here. They don't have anybody on it, and should be able to pick them up in time. Okay, so let's do that, shall we? Let's actually also slow it down a little bit. Profiteering in Soleil. Eh, you know what? We don't care about what Tondo thinks. We'll take another little bit of unrest and local trade power. Yeah, it's balanced out by the goods produced, but, you know. Okay. Now, we should have the, the odds on here on Ternate as well. Due to the fact that they only... Ha we still have that 10% on the old uh, infantry o -matic. Okay, so let's get them over. That should be in a month. And then hopefully, we should be able to pick up the other four in time. So they don't think that uh, they can make it onto us. Okay. So as soon as they go on, we're gonna hop the boats up. Okay. 
So now we just gotta watch to make sure the Tanate here doesn't hop in down here before we can make it. Okay, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I hit the boats. It's just sort of a, a, a reflex mechanism. Or I should say hit the pause. Okay, sweet. So we can just dump them straight into here. Looks like Brunei is doing well against Makassar here. Let's see, because it is Makassar and Ternate, and in fact, they've already got down to Sad Horse, so. Let's see if we can cross. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not take the risk. Let's go pick up the last two. I mean, we don't have, like, we only have a minor amount of separatism to deal with. And I would hate for the natives on, uh, on Hamahira there to get us to where we can't do anything. You know what? We'll gain that mercantilism. It's only 1%. We're not losing a heck of a lot out of Canton immediately. Okay. So we'll dump these guys in Tidor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll take the Miltech 5. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And, you know, it's usually not a good idea to do this in the middle of a war. But we do kind of like that tech advantage. So we're going to wait until the tick goes up. Okay. So we're just going to put in right there. Okay, we're going to wait for the second tick before we dump here into Ternate proper. Okay, we might wait for another tick. They don't look like they're coming in on us, so that's fine. We can kind of just sit out here and go, yo. Oh no, Tondo insulted us because they're dumb. <laughs> okay, we'll take that second tick. Well, actually, no, I kind of don't want to. Should I shouldn't have done that. We'll just wait another month. They're not coming out to say hi, so that's fine. And we still have, like, high participation in this. We got, well, okay, 8%, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. That should be enough, uh, morale. Yep. You gonna die? You gonna die first? You gonna die all pretty? And... Good. Spadoink! Alright, that murders them aplenty. So now I'll just sit on, uh, on Ternate here. Actually, since they're completely dead, what we're gonna do is we're going to take a couple of our finest dudes and go loot. Looty, looty, loot. Oh, there's nothing to loot. Never mind. <laughs> Darn, all the good looting's over here. Um, actually... No, that's Butuan. I think that is all of Ternate right now, because they haven't actually spread out much. Okay, well, we'll loot. Looting is fun. Watch that, kitties. All right, so we'll just keep them all in in here. All right, so it looks like, boom. So Makassar will cede Papalo to Brunei. We'll give Brunei ten percent of their income. We get, hey, we get cash. We just don't get anything out of that, but we get the all-important favor. So let's uh, get our, our dudes out. Yes. It's going to take some time for us to get out, but hey, you know, this is kind of what we figured that war was going to do. It was going to give us some extra cash and a couple of favors with uh, Brunei Senpai there. Yeah, they're going to be a bit spread out, but you know what? That's fine. Is this going to, like, take forever? This is going to take, oh, it's going to take forever in a year. Okay, 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 okay. This is probably dumb, so just stay put. I don't know where our boats are going. Okay. Are, are you going to go or what? Ugh. No, actually, this is the way it's going to have to be. I forgot. We'll just dump him there. That should make it quicker. <laughs> eh, it's 
That's the problem with islands. Uh, where's the boat? Okay. All right, so we'll just ignore that for right now. It doesn't really matter. We'll just lose a little bit of manpower waiting for that to go. But by and large, <laughs> by and large, <laughs> insert Pixar reference here. Beep. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so we can get another dude, which I'm actually going to hold off on on our porcelain. We aren't really actually going to be doing much battling at the moment. Okay. You guys go back. Oh, protect the old fire, and you guys go to Canton. To make us some cash again. It looks like the absent merchant plus lack of boats makes us make no money. That's a bad thing. Speaking of boats, let's look at our force limit on the boats. Okay, we can actually finally afford to build another boat. We're actually going to do a cog. Because we kind of need... <laughs> we need a little bit more than a force stack to be uh, to work around with. Okay. And just in case... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, let's put it on the, the rebels, but we're about to go away, so... Don't really need to worry about that. Okay. Yeah, I know. You know what? No need. To. I don't know why you're doing. Maybe it just means it's in. I don't know. Okay, so that's that. That's that. And we have the advisor going there. So we can actually afford to, to crank it up to four now. Yeah, this might have been a bit of a slow one comparatively, but you know. Let's see, Kutuai. I just wish we could do something on Kutuai. Is Sulu still allied with Brunei? Yes, they are. If we were to do something against Bru them. Yep, yeah, Brunei. <laughs> Darn, actually, we kind of missed our opportunity. Uh, we could have probably <laughs> gone at on to Sulu while we were busy being at war with Makassar. Eh, that's fine. Um, Would we be able to put on... Nope, still no. All right. Ooh, ooh, you know what time it is. Oh, yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start doing the colonization route. Because colonizing is fun. At least we need to in order to take these out. Uh, uh, to to build our base. In fact, we're going to go straight on Taglock. Because Taglock... Hmm, well... Taglock is close to Mandau, and Mandau is close to Ternate there, so we might end up doing that. But, right now, we're going to focus on Taglock. We do need to start on a policy, of course, which usually, I try to do this 50-50, uh, but we kind of need to speed things up. We're, we're going to be a low-powered group. Uh, uh, sorry, country. So we need to make the, the settler increase as quick as possible. So we're going to do over the 20. I mean, usually I like doing the 50-50 because it gives the chance on assimilation and makes the, the natives a little less feisty. But, like I said, we kind of need to speed up because we only get... Well, that should be 45 instead of 25. But considering we're not going to be doing... Uh, we're, we might, might be able to get enough to take higher developed colonies, and that would be sweet. If we could just do something. Actually, ah, now I wish we kind of humiliated uh, Hondo there. Because they're still our rival. And we don't, oh, we like Maynella. Well, we'll think about that. Uh, so, well, it's saying Zambanaga, but I'm You know what? I'm going to disagree. Like I said, tag law gets us right to here. And then we can go for Mendau. Either down bo uh, down this island here. Or we should get that uh, water adjacency to, to Ternate then. So we're going to go tag law. Plus, it's one more development. Okay. And of course, we're going to go... 
put that in. I mean, we could theoretically repress the natives. I just, I don't like wasting the points that way. Uh, you know what? We've got the money. Let's see. Well, I guess we could, but, well, it's 35 points. Uh, you know what? With this gra- I usually don't do this either, but with as aggressive as the Southeast Asian natives get, I think at 35 points, just to, to make them all go away, is actually kind of a smart use of our resources there. Because they got zero now, so that means they shouldn't do anything. I mean, I'll put one in there just for SNGs. But that should keep them um, from uprising now. And that means I can go do things like, oh yeah, try and humiliate Tondo. I wonder if we can do that. Let's see. They are a tributary of Ming. We all know Ming would do stupid things. Um, and that's a problem. Uh, I would love to be able to humiliate them. But I don't think we can get the 40% on that. Because if we can humiliate them, we sh we'd be able to get the Age of Discovery uh, enough press, uh, sorry, uh, Splendor, maybe, to get this higher developed colonies go. And since all we're going to be about is colonization for a little while, um, no, you stay, you stay there. Oh, uh, our other port is screwed up. Well, Ming is busy with separatists. I would love to see him, like, wow. No, that's just tributaries. They don't hate us quite so much anymore. They only want everything. So you know what? Let's let's try to be nice to them again, and then let's just get, like, ready to pounce on Tondo. Yeah. Because as soon as we can do something to them... Then we'll humiliate their butts. Um, in fact, at the same time, let's build that spy network. You know, maybe we can make... Oh, how did we lose there? <laughs> that, 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 that was a thing that happened. Okay. Because I would love to humiliate them. Get that quick colony going. Well, not the quick, but um, the better colonies. Because oh, I gotta say that is that is my favorite one of Age of Discovery is the plus one plus one plus one. And we're only gonna make twelve a year. I mean, granted, what for each one of these you like only add? I think it's. Uh, I think. What is it? It's like you get five a month. or It's either one. I think it's one. It's between the one to five a month for each one of these you hold. And I mean, I guess we could keep trying to develop. But really. Really humiliating a rival is our, is our, our best option to try and crank that. All right. You're kind of useless. You're at five. You're at five. You're at six. Okay. So, yeah, we're kind of really going after the best ones. And then down here would be the best option anyway, because that's ten. So, uh, Mandao. And in fact, maybe I should have colonized Mandao first. Maybe. Maybe so. We'll see. We'll see how quick it takes to do this. We're already at 159. So, should be within a couple of years to get, uh... Tag lock here finished. All right. Ming still slightly hates us. Tondo still would bring Ming in. Uh, what we need is for Ming to go like stupid. Like, Lan Zhang pisses them off and 
Well, or or somebody here to tell him no. Uh, yeah, Oirat. No, was it Oirat? Mongolia. No, they're a uh, class. What I'm trying to say is, it would be nice if one of these guys told him to go uh, go pound sand and not be their overlord anymore, because Ming always pounces on that, like like severely. How the hell? Huh. Like, like Ava there. It'd be nice if Ava told Ming to go away. Okay, so we'll dip low five. That'll actually up our trade efficiency. Money, 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 money. Actually, trade range increased, so I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Bump, ba dump, bump, bump. Can we get... Nope. Still Philippines or Canton. That's... That's annoying. <laughs> That just goes downhill. Well, we can collect it, we just can't put our boats there. That's good. Uh, Siam goes to Molokka. In the future, we might want to probably do Moluccas or Malacca, because Malacca is a pretty big choke point. They have four going in and only two going out. And the Philippines Actually, no. The Philippines puts to America and to the Malaccas, but Malaccas go to Malacca. So, that's what I mean. We might end up uh, making this our trading capital if we can get big enough, because the Philippines only has the single going to it, and that's Canton. Now, we could probably maybe think Hangzhou. Nope, they go that way, too. Man, Canton's a lousy. It, goes, it only has one going in and goes three out. Well, poop. Poop, poop, poop. Alright, so... Yeah, we don't really have anything to do, so we'll just have to keep that trade guy for right now. Okay, um... Boop, 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 boop. See, we're almost at 200 already, so that's good. Uh, what's our mission? Colonize a place we're not gonna colonize. Hey, Tondo! Ming's in debt, though. So that's, that's a thing. <sighs> if this was just grabbing these guys, it'd be one thing. But the fact we need, what, 40% for a Humiliate is sucky. I guess we could roll over on Maynella and make him our... <sighs> you know, I kind of hate doing that. But let's take that. Well, sorry, Maynella. We're gonna have to end up eating you eventually anyway. So this will pop us for five years, right? Okay. Right now their only rival is Tondo. Hmm. Well. Yeah, we're just going to have to do that. Maynella broke their alliance, which actually, yeah, it gives us a, a, a six-year thing. So, and so we got to keep an eye to make sure that Ming or Tondo doesn't... Well, Tondo can't roll over them because we effectively killed Tondo's army. So that's what our probably next goal is, is um, we're going to have to roll over on Maynella because we declared them our quote-quote rival. <laughs> Yeah, because Ming is at 80. It ain't going to do anything for Tondo. We have no diplomats to send. Oh, because we just pulled them back. Oh, okay. So that is going to have to be the idea. We'll have to eat Maynilla because, oh, we could vassalize him anyway. We could re-ally. <laughs> Well, because the other thing we could do is take a no causes belli, which would kill us, and add 13 to our war exhaustion, so... No. It's bad enough we're going to have to wait on the uh, um, royal marriage to die. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's that's going to have to be the idea. We'll wait for that truce to go away. Yeah, see, war exhaustion, eight. <laughs> and, and negative eight to our stability. Because we're 118 to aggressive expansion. Damn! That, that would be a thing. No, I don't want to improve relations with Maynella. I'm about to eat them. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll give them the influence. Okay, so we're going to crank it up to five for a little bit. See how things go. Hopefully Tondo doesn't get the bright idea to go, Hey, Maynella isn't being protected by our jerk friends anymore. <laughs> Let's eat! But really, the idea is to make sure no one else goes after Maynella. So we're going to speed up to, oh, another year or so. And then probably put a pin in here. We're calling these at 320. I'm kind of hoping we can nail them and humiliate and we get enough Splendor. Aw, our general died. Boo. Ha! That's okay. He got replaced by a much better general. Okay. So, <coughs> dear viewers, that's going to be our plan. In four years, actually three years and 11 months, we're going to roll over on Manila. We'll probably, hu uh, well, first we'll humiliate them, and then maybe vassalize them that one. Force vassalize, probably the good idea. Um, and then just, like, eat them later. Use that, hopefully you get enough splendor, because we are at 305. I mean, if anything, it's something to do while we're waiting on our colonies to go up. And waiting for, for Ming to turn a blind eye on Tondo. Because they're 65 and 8, which means they're in a war. Ooh. Ooh. Chagatai, Yarkin. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like the uh, Mongols uh, got a little bit uppity. So we'll keep an eye on that, because the moment that Ming doesn't help Tondo anymore, we're going to roll over them like a flat pizza. In fact, we might end up doing that next if the war exhaustion gets a little too high on Ming. So think about that next episode. I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.